My name is Ryan Holbrook. I am a surgical oncologist at Cancer Care Northwest in Spokane, Washington. And I've been doing this uh, specialized surgery for almost 24 years. HIPEC is the term we use to refer to this type of surgery. That stands for hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. Nationwide, there's less than 200 HIPEC surgeons. It takes a long learning curve. They've estimated that the learning curve is about 75 to 150 cases to get to the point where you'll have good outcomes. And so it takes a, it's a long learning curve because the surgery is so challenging that most people are not trained in how to do these types of surgeries. The types of cancer that HIPEC is used to treat um, are mainly appendix tumors, both benign and malignant, some colon cancers, uh, some ovarian cancers, stomach cancers, uh, sarcomas, which are quite uncommon, um, and mesotheliomas that occur inside the abdominal cavity. It involves uh, opening up the patient, cleaning out all of the tumor that is present. So my goal is no visible tumor at the end of the surgery. And then once that's accomplished, then doing 90 minutes of heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy, which we put through catheters going in and out. We heat it up to about 42 degrees centigrade. The uh, chemotherapy is then pumped out of the patient, so there's no residual chemotherapy lying around. The chemotherapy is not delivered through the IV and expected to circulate through the system. It's actually delivered right onto the surface of the tumors or where the tumors were to you know, infiltrate into the tissue to treat any residual microscopic uh, tumor cells. The benefits of, of using HIPEC um, are that uh, oftentimes there aren't other options that are going to be very successful. And so you otherwise couldn't affect their, their outcome. We have people who are out over 10 and 15 years with no recurrence of their tumors it gives them an opportunity to look at um, many more years of life or even potentially a cure for some of those patients. I think it is advantageous to be a partner at Cancer Care Northwest for basically all cancer patients, including high pec patients. And part of it is because most patients do get involved with other doctors, not just one specialty. And so when they're all tied together and linked together and work together and communicate together, it makes for much better coordinated care. Early in my career, I sought a place where I could be in a community hospital, um, but I wanted to provide the same quality that you would get in an academic center. And I think we've been able to provide that in conjunction with the multi-care Deaconess Hospital. We've been able to, to create this program and run this program ongoing now for over 23 years. People in communities deserve the top quality of care uh, for treating their cancers uh, just as well as those treated in an academic center.